happy Wednesday. Kimberly here. Didn't I say at the beginning of the week I was only going to make a video on Monday and here I am making a video every single day. Well, that's okay. That's kind of how life works sometimes. Anyway, I um, just ran out a little bit ago to do some errands and on my front porch was a package and I don't know why the, the mail person did not ring my doorbell, but they did not. And um, it's very strange because right now they're kind of going around in two cycles. One to drop off packages and then they go back and do the mail. Anyway, I know they're very swamped right now. But this is from Herlanda and she said just a little happy mail to brighten your day. Dolly Hugs, Herlanda, also known as Pooh Bear 253. And she sent this lovely package. Look how sweet that is. Oh, there's a name. To Kimberly from her London. She's got sweet little stickers all on here. So I hope everybody's having a lovely day. Um, the uh, It's very warm here today. It is 72 degrees outside. Oh, look how adorable. Oh, there's a birdie and a butterfly. How sweet is that? And socks with little... Oh, I love the chevron print and this print, too. I don't know what that's called, but it looks kind of like a button almost. You know, when you sew a button, that's really cute. So we've got a onesie. Oh, and then pants that go with the bib, and it's trimmed in pink, the color of the pants. And then... Oh. A matching sleep. Oh, how sweet is this? This is by Chickpea. Zero to three months. Wow, this looks kind of big. It looks like it might fit the bigger girls. I want the hat. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Herlanda. That is a lovely, lovely set. I'm looking at the girls. It might fit them. If not, it'll fit someone else. Oh, thank you so very much. That was so kind of you. I hope you got your baking done, Herlanda. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to show you. If y'all remember, I received a package from the channel called Love Reborns 2009. And she had sent all these little sweet things for the babies, the books, the gloves, the lubbies, and the rattle. And, um, and she had sent me a gift card. So I wanted to show what I got with my gift card. I got myself one of these grown-up coloring books. Um, I've been giving these away for quite a while. I just haven't gotten around to getting myself one. And um, I, I actually kind of thumbed through them for quite a while because I wasn't sure which one I wanted. And I decided to get one with spiral rings after much contemplation. I actually had a, another one in my hand that I love the pictures of as well. But um, while they're all perforated, and I believe these are as well, oops, um, I don't like ripping pages out of books. Yeah, these are perforated as well. But another thing I really liked about this is you have the picture on this side, and then over here it has a quote, and this one says, if you never chase your dreams, you'll never catch them. Hmm, isn't that the truth? And then down here, there's like a place for you to journal, and it's like that through the whole book. What's that one? I feel there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people. Vincent Van Gogh. So it just has some lovely, that's beautiful actually, that quote. There's some, just some beautiful um, quotes in here and um, lovely, lovely pictures. So I look forward to finding some time in the new year to do that. I've always loved to color. And one of my favorite things to do, and I still do it, is I just take um, a black crayon or marker and just kind of doodle all over the page and then I fill it in. But anyway, this will be a lot of fun. So thank you so much for that. So we have that and that. And then um, I want to thank everybody for your long videos. So many of you apologize when you make long videos and I'm going to tell you to stop because there are people like me who love the long videos. I've been rooting Kylie today. I spent a vast majority of my morning doing one section of her hair. Um, I did my chores and stuff first and then stopped to have lunch and run some errands. What time is it now? It is exactly four o'clock. Um, yeah, I stopped probably around 2.30ish maybe, somewhere in that time range. And um, 
I just was so happy there were so many long videos I was behind on. Um, congratulations, Asha, on your new baby, Beauty. You had a nice long video. Thank you. And then, um, uh, Saida, you had, uh, I was about, I had three videos of yours I watched back to back. That was fabulous because that was like an hour and a half. And I believe you're one who was apologizing, so don't do that. Keep making your long videos. And, the, oops, sorry. And, oh, I put her in a little dress and some little, I'll show you her barefoot sandals in a little bit when I take this off the tripod. I wanted to see her dressed. Um, anyway, um, and then, um, who else had a long video? Crystal had some long videos. And her Londa. Did I mention you already? Um, who else had some long videos? There's more. Oh, uh, Little Reborn Princess. And you were also apologizing. Mm -mm. I was so happy y'all had long videos. Because I root, for those of you who are new to my channel, I have to wear gloves when I root because I'm allergic to the mohair, so holding it that long gives me hives. Um, so it's so much nicer to have long videos where I don't have to keep changing, you know, every four minutes, two minutes, seven minutes, 45 seconds. Um, I did watch some shorter videos, but I want to just, you know, let all you people who make long videos know to keep them coming because people who reborn and root and stuff, we really appreciate the long videos. I know there's some people I'm leaving out that had long videos, but I just want to say thank you, everybody, who did your long videos, because I really appreciate them. Um, and then I am going to try to do this uh, Christmas tag quickly. Um, several of you, I, well, I only have seen Crystal and Mandy of um, Reborn Princess do it. Sorry, I'm trying to get my camera off the tripod. Uh, it just clips up. I mean, it spins around and around, but there's a clip. There we go. That way I can kind of pan around while I do this. Okay, uh, I should, probably should have studied it, but I didn't. Okay, let's see. What is your favorite holiday movie? Um, I've always loved, and I actually haven't watched it for many years, but I always loved It's a Wonderful Life. Um, what is your favorite Christmas color? Red. It's my favorite color in general. Do you like to stay in your PJs or dress up for Christmas? Um, in the morning, I'm in my jammies, but then I do like to get dressed up. Um, the last couple of years have been a little different for me because I um, like to host Christmas, but now that I live in a different state than my family, I um, am not hosting. So it's just my husband and I. So I probably won't get super dressed up this year, but... Um, so when I host, yes, I do get dressed up. Um, if you could only buy one person a present this year, who would it be? Let me... Um, that's one that I was thinking about when, um, you know, Mandy answered it as well as um, April. And it's very hard to just buy for one person. And I do love to give, especially to people who are in need. And... This gift would be a gift for this person, but also to my entire family. If I could give one gift, I would bring this boy home and adopt him. This is what Gabriel looks like now. I think I've shown him before. Oops, sorry. He was um, the baby that came to the orphanage who was... He is a miracle to be alive. He will be six in February. He is not adoptable, but that is what he looks like now. I would give him the gift of family. And, um, and then in turn, he would be a gift to us. So that was the best gift I could think of if I could choose one gift to give. Um, you know, as much as I'm grateful that he is in the care home that he is in, um, I do know that when people go there and visit and check on him for me, all, he keeps asking if he gets to go with them. And so I do know he longs for a family. Um... Number five, do you open your presents Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? We open ours on Christmas. Um, growing up, my mother's family, we, Thanksgiving was spent with my father and Christmas with my mother. And my mother's family always did a big get-together on Christmas Eve. And then you were with your individual families on Christmas Day. And because we were the out-of-towners, we would drive from Chicago to Indiana. We stayed at my grandparents' house. 
and usually, you know, for most of our school break, at least one week of it. And um, my uncle would dress up as Santa, and he and his wife would gift all the children. It, it went back and forth. One year it would be a large candy cane, the next year the large Hershey bar, and then back and forth. And then the parents would all bring a gift for their child to go in Santa's sack. Well, my mother never did that because my mother thought you could, we, not thought, her, her rules were we could only open gifts on Christmas Day, never on Christmas Eve. And I think part of that was she didn't, you know, have a lot for us. And so, um, one year though, they all, the, my aunts and uncles kind of all teamed up and kept everybody there till midnight. And then just after midnight told my mom, well, you have to let them open a gift now. It's Christmas Day. <laughs> and so she did give in that one year. But anyway, we do open gifts on Christmas Day. Um, six, have you ever built a gingerbread house? Yes, I have. But the thing that I don't like about gingerbread houses is because you're using egg whites for the meringue to put it together. You can't eat them. So many years ago as a nanny, I started letting children make individual gingerbread houses, but using graham crackers and frosting and then put all the candies on. Not only is it smaller scale, the kids love it and they can eat the entire thing. Uh, seven, what do you like to do on your Christmas break? Well, I don't have a Christmas break, so, um, I'm guessing that means from work. Um, I don't know, just what I normally do. I guess I'll relax more than normal, I suppose. Just spend time with my, my husband. Um, eight, any Christmas wishes? Um, I'm not somebody who... I don't know. I don't really believe in wishes because my mother always used to say you can't wish your life away. <laughs> uh, I believe in doing and praying. Um, I know the couple I've heard have talked about, you know, world peace and tolerance and stuff, and, and I, that is fabulous. But unfortunately, you know, I don't want to be a naysayer, but, you know, people... I don't know. I won't even go there. That, that's my own opinion. But I would love for, you know, the world to get along... <laughs> better and people to get along better. Um, number nine, favorite Christmas smell has to be baked cookie, cookies baking. Um, 10, favorite Christmas meal or treat. Um, I really miss my grandmother's, um, noodles and beef and noodles and chicken. She used to make her own, own homemade noodles and, um, nobody can make it like grandma. Um, and then we always had ham and all the fixings and stuff. Um, which holiday do you celebrate? Christmas. What are you doing for the holidays this year? We're just going to be home. Uh, what is your favorite holiday drink? I'm just confused, ladies. It went to 10 and now it started back over at 1 with what holiday do you celebrate? So I'm a little baffled by that. Um, three, what is your favorite holiday drink? I guess hot cocoa. I typically just drink water and milk and occasionally cranberry juice, but I, I, I'll probably drink hot chocolate. Well, no, it's so dang hot here. Uh, four, candy cane or gingerbread men? Um, I'm not a really huge fan of either. Um, as a child, I loved chewy candy canes. And my brother and I used to let our candy canes go stale, and then they were chewy. <laughs> um, what is your favorite holiday slash Christmas song. I answered this yesterday. It's Little Drummer Boy. Um, six, what is the weirdest gift you've ever received? Hmm. I don't know if I've ever received for Christmas. I've received some really weird birthday gifts. I'm trying to think weird Christmas gifts. Um, I don't know that I've received anything weird. Not for Christmas. Um, seven, have you ever made a snowman? Yes, I've made snowmen, snow forts, igloos, snow snakes. I love making snow snakes. Uh, I grew up in Chicago. We got a lot of snow. Um, eight, oh, and snow angels. Oh, love snow angels. Eight, what is your favorite winter fragrance? How is that different from Christmas smell? Maybe they mean perfume. I don't wear perfume. I'll just say cookies again, but I don't want cookie smell on me. <laughs> Nine, what is at the top of your list this Christmas? Um, I didn't write a list. 
um, just being with my husband. Um, I really enjoy being with my husband. And so I'm very, very grateful that he has the, the next four days off. And then he'll have it again next week for New Year's. So that's what I love. Um, ten, what is most important to you about the holidays? Spending time with family and friends. And this year for Christmas, you know, we'll be on Skype, but it's better than nothing. So I'm very grateful that we, you know, technology allows us to do that. So um, that is the end of that. And then one more quick thing. Um, back, do you remember when Debbie of Reborn Blessed did her video where we showed, I showed all my dolls from when I was little, including Thumbelina's sister there, who now has her sister Thumbelina back. Um, well, they were never together. They just met yesterday. Judy, they are getting along famously. I think it's like you and I. There's us. Um, anyway, um... And then I had shown some of my ch childhood books at Debbie's request. And I told you guys about this one, and I had intended to read it for Christmas and totally forgot. Um, it's called Mr. Willoughby's Christmas Tree by Robert Berry. This is such a sweet story. And I am not going to apologize for the length of my video. I just think y'all should sit back and listen. This is such a great story. Um, Mr. Willoughby's Christmas Tree. There is the, the woodman chopping it down. And there he's waving goodbye to it. Now, this is how my brain, you know, works. I like to check. See, the, the tree is on a hill here, so I'm happy it's on a hill here. <laughs> um, sometimes books don't flow. But anyway, so there's the truck driving it to Mr. Willoughby's house. Special delivery for Papa. Anyway, so there's the tracks from the truck. And here we go. Mr. Willoughby's Christmas tree came by special delivery. Full and fresh and glistening green, the biggest tree he'd ever seen. He dashed downstairs to open the door. This was the moment he'd waited for. A magnificent tree, splendid, he cried. Please, sir, won't you carry it right inside? I think it might look best this year, right in the parlor corner here. But once the tree stood in its place, Mr. Willoughby made a terrible face. The tree touched the ceiling, then bent like a bow. Oh, good heavens, he gasped. Something must go. Baxter the butler was called on in haste to chop off the top, though it seemed quite a waste. That's great, Mr. Willoughby cried with glee. Now we can start to trim my tree. When the trimming was well underway, the top was placed on a silver tray. Baxter said, I know just who'd be delighted with this Christmas tree. So it was presented to Miss Adelaide, Mr. Willoughby's upstairs maid. Won't this tree be a pretty sight when I've trimmed it later tonight? But the top, oh dear, I'm so afraid, will have to be cut, sighed Miss Adelaide. And so with scissors sharp and long, she snipped off the top while she hummed a song. The top was set out the very next day in the back of the house to be thrown away. That little tree top caught the eye of Tim the gardener passing by. He certainly was not about to see that little tree thrown out. He hurried it right home straight away to see what Mrs. Tim would say. Fa la la, surprise, surprise, his wife could not believe her eyes. But our house, she said, is so snug and small. I do not believe we need it all. And before Tim had a chance to shout, she cut off the top and threw it out. Barnaby Bear was padding by. It almost hit him in the eye. Now who would throw a tree away so very close to Christmas Day? I'll take it home, that's what I'll do. Look, Mama Bear, I have a present for you. Isn't it a pretty tree? yawned Mama Bear quite drowsily. Before we go to sleep this year, let's have a Christmas party, dear. But Little Bear, standing off far, cried out this tree won't hold a star. Barnaby said, let's cut a hunk off at the bottom, here at the trunk. But Mama Bear just shook her head and sliced the treetop off instead. Jolly by golly, Barnaby said with a kick. Mama, that surely is just the right trick. Let's trim it with bells and honey rings, some berries and tinsel and popcorn on strings. 
Mama said, trim it just as you like. I've got to tidy up for the night. This top we won't need any more. I'll just put it outside the door. Later on that frosty night, Frisky Fox came into sight. He spied the treetop, rubbed his chin, opened his sack, and stuffed the top in. He scampered home and jumped his gate. This Christmas present could not wait. I've even... It's even better than mincemeat pie, said Mrs. Fox with a happy sigh. Then the foxes saw that their Christmas prize was just a wee bit oversized. There, my dears, now don't you worry. I'll fix this top now in a hurry. Benjamin Rabbit found it then, just outside the fox's den. It seems he thought most certainly Santa left that for my family. Look, he cried, see the tree I found? With that he called his family round. Then there was a merry-making, rollicking, frolicking, carrot-shaking celebration around the tree. All were happy as rabbits can be. Benjamin Rabbit, with his own hands, sliced a carrot and made a stand. Now let's see how this will look in our little chimney nook. But right away the children cried, Look, it's leaning off to one side. It's too tall, that's all, said Mrs. Rabbit. And as though it were a summer carrot, she gave it a chop and threw away the top. Then Mistletoe Mouse just happened to see the tiny tip of a Christmas tree. He pulled it through the snow and ice. Up some stairs. He fell down twice. At last he reached his cozy house. It's just the right size, said Mrs. Mouse. Then at the top, if you please, they put a star made out of cheese. Oh, wasn't it grand to have a tree? Exactly like Mr. Willoughby. And there's Mr. Willoughby sleeping in his chair by his tree. And there's the Mouse family dancing in their hole. I just wanted to share that because that's one of my, you know, the birth of Jesus is the Christmas story. This is one of my favorite storybooks for Christmas. All right, ladies, let me show you who have I not shown. I did not, oh, I did go through my, I have a bin of blankets that I kind of went through and pulled out a couple. I have the lovely giraffe one from Melanie that Owen is now resting in a cloud. And then this one I had crocheted ages ago that I put Harley in. She's in her own little nest now. And I did dress Corey. Poor guy's been in a onesie, so I put him in a little outfit with some shoes. And I put an outfit on Alexa here. Gave her a little blanket body. Oh, there's her little. I put some barefoot slippers. She probably won't go home in that. That's too big on her, and it's one of my girl's dresses. But And there's Malachi. The prince of the nursery, bless him. He is so sweet. One of these days he'll get a brother. And then we have the lovely ladies up here. I'm tossing names around. They probably you probably won't know their names till they're done. And then there's Sapora. Oh, I put a little blankie on her. I also had the blanket that matched that basket, so she's all snug as a bug. So anyway, everybody, I just hope everybody has a very, very Merry Christmas. And thank you so much to everybody who sent cards and gifts and everybody who leaves lovely comments. We are such a lovely community. Um, I'm so grateful and thankful to so many of you. And I'm just, you know, honored to be a part of this community. And, oh, Gail Grady, I was happy to see you back. You made a video. Haven't seen you in ages, but I under I watched your video and I know you've been super busy and have fun with them goats. Um, but anyway, just everybody have a very very merry Christmas, and I hope y'all like long videos because mine is long and I am not going to apologize. Anyway, everybody have a very 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 merry Christmas, and we shall see you next week. Bye bye.